Oh my goodness. All right. Well, the way wants me to check up on spin play, so let's go ahead and take a second and see what's happening over on over on Yonder. So we're gonna start with uh, Dance Row. Uh, I honestly, I think this song is underrated yeah, as far countdown. as difficulty goes. It just—it's the first song difficulty wise that just destroys me. One. It's still a really good song. Oh, it's a fantastic song, but um, I think it's unrated difficulty-wise. <laughs> uh, there, there are a couple songs that I feel like that. Actually, I take it back. The uh, the lowest song difficulty-wise that just destroys me, which I think was, I'm still salty that it was placed in this difficulty, uh, was the top, of course. Aww. Sorry, that's a difficulty 33 or 34 song, IMO. So... Um, this, I mean, I still want to do a spin rhythm, it's still, but uh, there might be a slightly off topic from this, but uh, apparently the way got a freaking B on Freedom Die, apparently, so, uh, holy sweet Jesus, that's, uh, that's something, that's something else. The way entering the tournament when? Uh, coming to you next fall. Only on, T only on TBS. So we see Lieutenant Chaos is on FC Paste, by the way. Um, we saw a miss come out of Wesley in the intro, um, but is doing pretty good with the first verse. Behind by about a thousand points, however. And there's that chord. But oh my goodness! Ooh, you don't like language. Now that, that, that's gonna be a thing. Nah, hey, Mr. DJ, fuck me up. Oh, speaking of fucking up. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my good, oh my, oh, damn, are we getting sassy in the chat right now? Oh my goodness. That's, uh, here it. Kali, Elite, <laughs> oh god, this is happening! Hey, ride your wives, hide your kids, it's, 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 it's coming. Alright, what's happening? You might want to check the chat real quick. It's, uh, it's, it's something. <laughs> Golly, it sort of just started something and then started a thread in the chat, so, uh... Oh, Metal Horny, hell yeah. No! Not hell yeah! Throw the Hell yeah! Throw the courage Oh my goodness. Now, Metal Pod, okay, that's something I can be happy with. That's something I got to get. Anywho, so, what's happening at the moment is, um, both players have... Miss Metal Horny the Chaos. Uh, we also saw a miss around the same time by Wesley. So it does not help uh, Wesley actually that much. Wesley seems to be struggling with the second chorus, was having no real problems with the first chorus. Uh, maybe just struggling with consistency on this section. It is not an easy section by any stretch, and it's very easy to lose your place and have successive misses following an initial miss. Uh, that's one of the reasons I play with uh, Clear Highway on miss. I think you do as well, Elman. Well, I've start, well, at least with the tournament, I've actually started taking. I took that off. And I started practicing without it, and uh, this is actually one of those songs where there's a lot of moments you can absolutely metal man it up, which is what the term would be called that was coined. Where you might see some sections where you might have to go left and then turn right because of the way the notes go, but there's some instances if you just turn the wheel and keep going to the left, you can still hit those sections. Uh, right now we have about a. An 8,000 point lead for Lieutenant Chaos with a minute left in the song. Uh, at this point, it's, it's pretty safe to call it for Lieutenant Chaos. He needs to fail in order for Wesley to win. And uh, there's no indication that he's going to track that way. No. This is a five game set, however. So Wesley doesn't need to win this. He just needs to win three. And he will not be put on match point for losing this game. So. I think Wesley just needs to think, put your head down, pass this, put a respectable number up, and uh, move on to the next song. But this might be one of those circumstances where Wesley does pretty well in the round one pool, but kind of hits the difficulty ceiling on the round two pool. We're going to see going forward. That is correct. And funny enough, uh, some comments are actually making a good point where you know how sometimes commentator curses a thing? Uh, this chorus, the chorus of this song is almost as if the singer is, you know, the player. It's be like, hey, commentator, DJ, don't fuck me up now, you hear it? Don't, don't you do it. Complete. That's actually pretty funny. So by a, a almost 10,000 point margin, Lieutenant Chaos takes it with an S rank to an A rank. Uh, definitely underscoring a bit of 
skill disparity here. Uh, Lieutenant Kaos missed once. And right before the second quarter. And as we move on to the next song, Lieutenant Chaos got to be feeling pretty confident right now. You know what? I could absolutely agree with that. But the thing is, is sometimes you don't want to try and let yourself get too confident. Because if you get too overconfident, you know, that's when people usually tend to stop making simple mistakes. And, you know, and with this game, it's like how good people can be. One little mistake can add up and then, you know, it all, it all bets are off. That's true. That's true. But with that being said, what do you think might be going through Wesley's head? Like, I mean, obviously it's only the first, he only lost the first song, but, and you know, there's still a minimum of three, uh, two songs, uh, or that's, a, he has a minimum of four songs or three, four songs he would have to win. So what do you think is probably going on? I, I don't know. I think that Lieutenant Chaos is probably going to just sort of you know, put his head down and just grind him out. I think that he's got to be feeling like the pretty heavy favorite here. Uh, the thing about the map pool is the way that it shakes up with this sort of linear progression is like I was saying, uh, players that do well in round one aren't necessarily going to do well in subsequent rounds and so on. Uh, so knowing that Lieutenant Chaos put up a minus one from FC on a one of the, I would say one of the harder songs in the round two map pool, honestly, makes me feel like he's got to be feeling pretty confident that he's not his drop-off point. And see, Wesley actually did about the same performance live, but still had a bit of a struggle moment um, relative to Lieutenant Chaos. I think that we can count on Lieutenant Chaos just thinking my level of performance is fine and going forward. And Wesley thinking I've got I've got a level up okay, like now. Ready? Can we do the countdown? I can definitely see where they're going with that. Two, and I just noticed that, uh, well, actually, go. well, man, this might be a little sad. I don't know how I only just noticed, but Lieutenant Chaos also seems to have the leader, the mod leaderboard set up for the customs. Ooh, I wonder how you two shake up against each other. I don't have the leaderboard. I don't know why. I guess I'm waiting for the public release on the spin share client, but it definitely looks amazing. Yeah, I'm interested in, by that because there are, are a lot of really useful mods in mod updates. And I feel like like uh, Programmatic has put up some excellent mods, for example, like the uh, the background editor, which is sort of standard for all of these tournament edits. You see that these are not using the custom start background, um, which is uh, white grid. Uh, this is using, uh, what song is it? It's not Arcana Engine, but it's from that same pad. I, I do believe that's Oh, God, I believe that is... Oh, wait, Platform 9. I think that's Platform 9. Was it Platform 9? I thought Platform 9 had a sort of a darker palette. I don't remember, though. I've, I've been playing with um with uh, Simple Background since Simple Background came out, basically. Well, I know there was the three songs. There was Arcana Engine, there was Platform 9, there was Volt, and there was Volt. And I believe, and I know Volt had the, like, dark shade of red with that background and you're I'm right, right you're right and arcana engine didn't have that either so that's that's why i nailed that a possibility that it was platform nine yeah, very possible in any case uh, all of these uh these custom backgrounds are thanks to uh programmatic's uh background editor uh he also released the chart analyzer um which is also a uh, phenomenal bit of code that basically tells you when your chart has uh, non-standard patterns that might be unintuitive to play, like backward spins or... like this court is dying. F. You know, right now we have the command line 
prompt that is basically used for the excellent chart analyzer. And we are now recording. Now recording. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. We're good. So I guess we gotta go back to that uh, thing so we can go and. Yep, new link. There you go. Thank you, Elite. So I guess for one, we should go ahead and do that. Get that taken care of. And. Did I seriously just exit out of that? Like an... Oh, wait, no, I did not. Alright, so what I was saying is that we have this excellent chart analyzer that's honestly really great, even if you, you don't follow conventions very strictly. It's very great for like catching errors in your charts. And uh, it's, it's done on simple command line prompt. And it would be cool to see the UI, like to see it incorporated into the main spin chart client, like all of, of programmatic uh, bits of code, uh, which are fantastic for function, but again, are sort of the scattered uh, bits here and there as far as actual programs uh, to have them sort of unified under a single UI. And Fincher could be that UI. That would be interesting to see. That would. What wasn't? What was actually kind of sad was that Wesley was on like a 1,000 plus note streak. I think he was on an FC pace actually, and then he missed. Yeah. Well, with 15 seconds left to go, uh, Wesley is in the lead on this song. Uh, so definitely leveling up from past song performance. That miss is going to be inconsequential. Wesley will win by 900 points. Uh, 900? I think it was more like a thousand. All right. Uh, half of six of this, half a dozen of the other. Oh, actually, okay. No, you're right. That was actually like more like 900. It was about is 952 point difference. In any case, Wesley has won. So now it is a tie between one one. Between Lieutenant Chaos and Wesley. So we're going to be going at least to song four here. Um, I'm stoked for that. Uh, this is, again, our last song in the round of 16. I'm happy to have a set. Like I said, I came into this thinking that Lieutenant Chaos was going to be the heavy favorite based off of round of 32 performances. Wesley, proving me wrong here, with the win on You Found Me. Uh, we, as we move on to the next song, we've got to know that that we could go to song five on this. Maybe Wesley's chosen songs very appropriately and will uh, maybe have the advantage based on song selection here. We're gonna see. Possibly. I mean, the next song that was picked is Conga Conga Kappa, which once more, if you are a fan of the bongos, you will have a blast with this one. Also, shout out to Bongos. Also, shout out to uh, Trip to the Necrodancer, uh, one of the best soundtracks ever. Didn't they make a Legend of, Le uh, a Legend of Zelda skin that was like Legend of Cadence or Cadence of something? Cadence of Hyrule. And it's actually an entirely different game. It, it plays, oh, it has the same base mechanics, but it plays as an adventure style game where uh, the the uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer is a floor-based roguelike, right? Where you're just descending downward until you get to, like, the boss levels of the floors. Right. Uh, Cadence of Hyrule is an overworld-style adventure game where you have this large overworld map with varying different screens. And then on top of that, and it sort of functions like uh, Link to the Past slash uh, Link's Awakening, um, where, you know, you navigate the screen, you, you hit the screen and it wraps wraps around, basically. Okay. Um, with uh, dungeons that are interspersed throughout the, um, the overworld. Legend of Zelda style. In fact, it actually is skinned as a Legend of Zelda game, and you can play as Link or Zelda. Well, now I actually really want to get that game. That definitely sounds like fun! It's fantastic. So, my spouse and I, for our first wedding anniversary, uh, we did a okay, Link and Zelda okay. cosplay photo shoot, and then three, we played through the two, entire game co-op in our cosplays together. Go. Ready? Three, two, one, That's nice. Go. And I'm going to try not to sing along to this, even though the beat is... One hell of a jam. And also, the song has no lyrics. That's such a good... I don't know what it is. It's just got a really good beat. It's got like... It's like you can hear the bass line and then mixed in with the bongos and those like bongo fills. Just... I don't know what it is. It's really good. 
being proven wrong here, Metal Man can in fact sing to bongos. <laughs> I don't know why. I kind of just want to have like a thing with like Don Kong. You know, like have a remake, like have a thing with like maybe it's just like a remake or like a remastering or even a new like Donkey Kong bongo game. You know, like it was like what was that game? Like there was like I think there was more than one where you use bongos as a controller. So I think we, uh, I think Wesley has angered Lieutenant Chaos because up to this point, uh, Lieutenant Chaos had a PFC. Uh, just dropped it about ten seconds ago. Oh. Um, I think the loss on Song Two has put the fire under his belly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just saw High Caliber's comment. Listen, I'm not gonna sing B Baka Matai, all right? I'm sorry, I don't know the lyrics. I'm not Japanese. I'm sorry. It's, I, I failed you. It's my fault. I think you mean Dame Dane. <laughs> Okay, is that just a new thing? Is that the new thing? Because I'm, I mean, I'm, it's funny. It's funny and I'm for it, but gosh darn it. God damn it. All right. Yeet. I see how it is. <sighs> so we got about an 800 point disparity here with 24 seconds to go. Uh, Lieutenant Chaos needs to miss um, on full combo pace still. I think even a single miss would not be enough because of how mash note heavy the song is. But yeah, I think that this is going to be going to Lieutenant Chaos for song three. And can I, I just also want to say that perfect timing because like Luciano just amazingly just <laughs> subscribed to tier one for two months. Hey, Luciano. Welcome to the sub club, friend. And we are very much appreciated. So thank you so much. So yeah, with a minus... Uh, I don't know if it's a minus six, but six missed sections off of PFC. Lieutenant Chaos will take Konga Konga Kappa and go up 2-1 on the set. Well, I guess according to Caliber, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much being forced to sing back on my tie at this point. So, uh... Get learning. Tune in for when I butchered the chorus of that song and probably upset a lot of people in the process. <laughs> Oh boy, oh, uh, I feel like Tree is going to absolutely quote me on that now and it's going to be like, you better do it! <laughs> anyway, so with the next song coming up, we are on the 2-1 with Lieutenant Chaos with the two points. So it looks like Wesley is definitely, like, I mean, there's obviously a few emotions probably that Wesley's going through right now. And uh, as you say, reward, it looks like Wesley has angered the beast and Lieutenant Chaos is making a comeback with this. So what do you think Wesley's going to have to be able to do for this next song to try and get to the um, point to make to try at least try and make it the tiebreaker to get to that match point? Well, Wesley did really strong on his first pick, and this is Wesley's second pick, Mirai Sekai Part 3. I think Wesley has to be thinking, have I practiced this song? Because it was the song that he chose over the only other option, which was uh, Infinite Ammo. So Wesley's really got to be thinking, was my chart selection good? Um, because I think that Wesley maybe has the chops to take some songs off of Lieutenant Chaos, but I think that song selection has played very heavily in this uh, match so far. Uh, every person has won their own song choice. So if Wesley's practiced Mirai Sekai Part 3, I think maybe uh, that's going to be the determinant factor here. Ooh. So, bottom line, both players are going to have to be able to really give it the all on this one. Especially because, I mean, there's already like at least one PFC. Like I can see from the... Actually, yeah, someone has PFC that's already. There's, uh, as you can see from the custom leaderboard, or from the mod leaderboard, it looks like Nick Asian was the one who... Yeah, Nick Asian was the one who got the PFC on this. In Jane. Go. Looks like um, Lieutenant Chaos's high score on this is a B. Wesley has no score. So that could mean one of two things. It could mean that Wesley has sight read, is sight reading this, or it could mean that Wesley has not played it since the last re upload, which maybe if um, Wesley uh, just went through the uh, warp zone, uh, could be as recently as 10 minutes ago. And it looks like uh, Lieutenant Chaos, I, I mean, things are perfectly in sync, so I think Lieutenant Chaos somehow missed two, three notes, somehow. Might have been just a uh, uh, misstep on the very top of the chart. Uh, fortunately, yeah, it looks like 
maybe like the first one of the first holds or something like that was just dropped. Uh, fortunately, oh. that doesn't really matter. I think it might have been a hold release that was missed. Um, either way, it doesn't matter that much. Whether it was a hold miss or just an outright miss, I was watching Wesley. Um, at this early stage in the game, it's so inconsequential that it does not actually account for like a full miss's worth of value. And as you can see, they're within 100 points of each other. Okay, that is true. Wesley, however, on PFC pace. So this is a song that Wesley has practiced. So I guess the only question for this, at this point, can Wesley actually make it with the PFC? Can he be able to get what only one person has been able to get so far? If, if Wesley PFCs this, then I have a lot of questions, actually. I mean, I guess we're being honest, this song isn't too difficult, so I mean, I can I can see this being PFC'd by a bunch of people. Sure, but like, I have to wonder what is going on with Wesley, where Wesley can have like numerous misses on some of these songs and like PFC adjacent on others. And maybe what, what that's telling me is that this is not Wesley's skill ceiling, but Wesley does not have a complete knowledge of the map pool from maybe lack of practice or something like that. And so, like I said, uh, at the, early on in the set after song two, I think that chart knowledge is going to be the biggest determining factor between these two. So this section is actually very slightly mistimed, but Wesley had no issues with it. Absolutely. And again, there's also a few, it, there's just people who have, like, there might be some songs that might seem easier, but people might have issues with. It's just how it is. But then there's other songs that are more difficult, but it's just somehow, it's just like, oh, well, I can PSC this somehow. We did have an additional miss come out of Lieutenant Count. No! Oh! 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 And we got a miss from Wesley. That that yeah, that that might have been my that might have been my fault. <laughs> Sorry, commentary curse. It's totally not a thing. It's fine. <clears throat> Anywho, we're good. Wesley is still on track to win this by a margin of about seven hundred points. We're in the match note section of the song which means that a miss now is less consequential than a miss in the past. So I think uh, unless we have like a, a total blowout here, Wesley is going to take this. I think we're going to get to it. I think we're going to have a tie. Uh, we're going to get to like the tie breaking. Yeah, we're going to song five, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, for anyone at home who might have forgotten what that means for the, what the fifth song is, uh, that means infinite ammo is the default which is the tiebreaker. So we'll go into infinite ammo charted by the one, the only, Aaron Eternal. Complete. Spin Master. So Wesley had minus two off of PFC plus the overbeat. Lieutenant Chaos did have a miss as well as a missed release. Um, I believe the miss that Lieutenant Chaos had was also a missed beat hold release. Nevertheless, that takes us to two and two. So we will be playing Infinite Ammo as the fifth song of the set and final song, unless we have a tiebreaker, in which we, I guess we play Infinite Ammo again, uh, um, to determine who goes to the round of eight. So make sure to prepare yourselves for round five begins. Yeah, this is the set. set. So, you know what? I think a good question would be now to ask, and this is for everyone in the chat, what team are you for right now? Are you for Team Lieutenant Chaos, or are you for Team Wesley? For those who are for Team Lieutenant Chaos, uh, you can just write down Chaos. And for those who are for Wesley, you can just write in Wesley in the chat. And actually, I got a question for you, Award. What exactly, I mean, I know we're supposed to have no biases, but I'm kind of curious on what, like, who you might be voting for for this final song, for this tiebreaker. Uh, well, I am Turntable Gang, actually. I'm, I'm with High Caliber Tree on this. I like to see unique uh, and interesting control schemes and uh, as, an alt, like, as an alt controller, and I am interested in seeing more turntable representation at the top level of play in this tournament. Um, and I think that we need Lieutenant Chaos to advance to see that. 
Oh, we got Luciano with the five gift subs. Oh my goodness Matt gracious. Preston, Metal Man 20, Lieutenant Chaos 720, and Esteban Yop. Congratulations, uh -oh. you get no emotes. Can we just get some giant ass W's in the chat real quick for Luciano, please? I mean, I, I need to study to see that happen right now. So uh, what a way to finish off this set for the day because this is in fact the last song. Not only is this the last match, or not only is this the last song of the match, this is the last match of the day. So hopefully we can try and be able to see this get finished off strong because I mean Wesley has shown that he can handle himself big time against someone like Lieutenant Chaos. So. You know, they've pretty much been back and forth for this whole match. And now I guess the question is, which one shall win the like final A little spot? bit of stutter. Also, this song is super freaking good. All right, uh, some of the frames have updated. And it looks like uh, I'm looking at the third slide. And the third slide shows Wesley on PFC pace and Lieutenant Chaos has had an early. All right, on to the next slide. You know, I'm seeing now a Wesley has missed a note. I uh, can't tell where. Next slide, please. I'm so sorry that it doesn't seem to be working for you. Uh, both seem, both screens are working good for me. All right, on slide six, Wesley missed a note. Huh. So, uh, slide nine, uh, Lieutenant Chaos missed a note, and now they're both on a similar pace. So let me ask you something, Reward. How hyped are you for the fact that this is the last song of the match, but not only the fact that it's the last song of the match, but the last match of the day? Okay, looking at the actual uh, Twitch feed, it looks like it's fine, so this is just me. I can't tell if Reward can hear me or not. Uh, you can hear you can hear me, right? Just, okay, so just... We see about a 1,000 point lead from Lieutenant Chaos over Wesley. Uh, looks like Wesley traded another miss over. I'm just gonna watch the Twitch feed. I'm gonna I'm gonna be commentating on a slight delay, but that's probably a little bit better. We just see another miss come out of Lieutenant Chaos. So these two are trading misses. This is an incredibly close song, despite. Uh, the lack of perfection of play that is happening now. Hey, Reward, can you hear me, buddy? I can't, I can't tell. For the first time in about a minute and a half, I can hear you. Oh. Okay. Because I was going to ask you how hyped are you for the fact this is the last song of the match. And just the fact this is the last match of the day. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think one or both of us are having Discord issues. Might be a problem with the server. Unfortunate. Big Fs. Oh my goodness. Uh, how are we supposed to commentate? We can't hear each other. God damn it. Help. Help. How can we commentate together? Uh... No, I can hear you just fine. I don't think you can hear me though. I can hear you, Metal. Alright, I just confirmed that Metal didn't read my message. I uh, did! I I did. But I, yeah, Metal cannot hear me. I did hear- I can hear you! Well, why are you saying that I can't hear you? I can hear you, I said that! I, okay, sorry, I was asking a question and you just you never answered me, so then I just started getting paranoid thinking you can't hear me, I don't- I don't know! Look above the message. I said two messages in a row. <laughs> the com This time the commentators have cursed each other. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, what a way to end the street with the, to end the match, I guess. Yeah, Lieutenant's won this, by the way. Um, I can't actually see what you guys... Like, I can't actually see the game live, but I can see on uh, stream. Um, Looks like about a 5,000 to 6,000 point victory. Uh, GG's to Lieutenant Chaos and Wesley.
very close up until the end. You guys were trading blows even into infinite ammo, uh, but Lieutenant Chaos does win it out in the end. Absolutely incredible. Freaking amazing. Yeah, fantastic last match. I said that the last one that we had in the round of 16 was the closest that we had with Jammy Dodger, but this was also an incredibly close set. Wesley's song selection game was on point. Uh, won every song that he picked. Unfortunately, he lost everyone that he didn't pick, and that's the decider. Yeah, 